gonna boss it in and see if, hope for the best. Keep your fingers crossed for us guys. Puddy, made a new word. Nice little lady, stuck her fingers in my mouth. Just does. Hang on a minute. This uh, tractor's still got something wrong with it, I think. Let's kick this pig. I can't even, ugh, dip lock. Come on, old girl. <laughs> he says as he's getting stuck. <laughs> yeah, what a disaster, isn't it? What are you all worrying about? Uh, uh. My soil never looks like this. You can mock me all you like. I don't care. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. <laughs> awesome. I'm filming his life. Good afternoon, Fenlanders. How are we doing? I'm Daniel. Welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. Woo! On today's show, first of all, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did it. It doesn't cost you anything. If you like watching us, little shenanigans on farm, I'm going to try and get some, the last of the skyfall. I'm just going to bosh it in and see if, hope for the best. Keep your fingers crossed for us, guys. Anna's been out there and pulled the field around today a little bit, but I'm going to go and have another go. I don't know how she got on, but uh, it's just so wet underneath. Um, I'm virtually getting right into the puddy, puddy? Made a new word. Managed to get right into the puddle, pretty much. Got most of it done. Whatever I can't get drilled today, I won't worry about. Let's go. Hello. So yeah, whatever I can't get boshed in today, I can't go spraying. It's plenty plenty windy enough to be out there spraying. Even the, even the other sprayers that were floating around this morning have all, all uh, receded. I haven't seen them for a while. So I'm just gonna go and have a go on the hole, on the hill. I found some mold traps. I've been to the dentist today. Nice little lady stuck her fingers in my mouth and then jabbed at me wisdom tooth. I have still got a couple of wisdom teeth in my mouth. And uh, she said one of them needs to come out. This does. So, as you can see, it is pretty, uh, you can see how just how wet it is underneath. This is what we're all struggling with now, I think. Everyone's, um, hang on a minute. This uh, tractor's still got something wrong with it, I think. I do believe there's something to miss with this tractor. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think so. But it just doesn't seem as though it's pulling as well as what it used to. So, as you can see, the cultivator is not very level. But yeah, just been and had a look at a quad track for Anna to do the mowing on. Get a little mower on the back of it and she can cut the grass. There we go, that's a bit better. Yeah. Everyone seems to be putting fert spreaders on uh, on their quad tracks and stuff, so I felt left out. So uh, I've just been to have a look at that. I've also just been to have a look at another little toy. Potential, maybe. I don't know. Let's kick this pig! Anna's been out here and pulled around a fair bit of this, but she can pull a bit more around. Grumpy Grandad's now coming onto this field as well with his rolls to see how he gets on with that. So he's been and rolled the uh, wheat that we drilled over Hogwarts the other day. He's been and uh, rolled that. So he went and done that yesterday. My cousin Martin's on the field as well with his plough. Not on this field, but next door. Grumpy Grandad's just going to see how much he can get rolled on this field. But he, he, I think he might have got the field done. I, I hope he has. So that, like another field ticked off for this, you know. The two fields rolled today. It's a good start. It's, uh, I just spoke to David Waters as well, and he don't really know which way he's up at the minute. He, he's just like, everyone wants me. Everyone wants to come down and get stuff. And uh, we, uh, everyone wanted me at the same time. And I said, well, I'm going to need you soon to do some muck spreading, some more muck spreading. So if you could do that and fit that in. But I won't be ready for another week or so yet. So uh, I still got muck down on my storage pad. I've still got muck at the pig unit yeah we've still got muck i've still got muck dotted around at uh, farmer dan's he's got um he's got a load of cow muck for me as well so yeah i've still got tons and tons of muck to shift and move and stuff but i can't even ugh, diff lock come on old girl but it's, we're, we're getting there now in this field it's it, it's slowly but surely by the end of this week i'll have <laughs> he says as he's getting stuck the end of this week hopefully i'll have all of this whole of anna's dried right out <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we should we should be all the way into it. But whatever I can't get drilled this week or today, 
I am just gonna uh, I'm just gonna put some wild bird mix in it. I'll keep moving it around, get it right, and then I'll put I'll put a cover crop in it. Just do a cover crop and uh, and let the birds and bees and stuff have a little habitat. Yeah, what a disaster, isn't it? I'm uh, not the only one that's having a disaster, so winds drop now, which is nav. Still see the reeds blowing around, blowing a hoolie around. Get the 215 fired up. Get this open. Last bag of Skyfall going in now, I promise. 20 April. What are you all worrying about? It's not good, is it? This is the latest I've ever drilled Skyfall before. All about the action shot, baby. Ugh. One job done. Get rid of the loader. Didn't run you over, and I'd have a field to uh, fit. Right, get onto the field. Our high pen landers, hang on a minute, I'm just trying to adjust my mirror. Now, my soil never looks like this. Lumpy, crusty, rock hard. Just as I tried to bosh a seed bed together. Sing it with me. Time to do some sketchy do da do da maybe we'll get away with it oh do do da day but this is what my soil normally looks like but it's just been so freaking wet in here this is what it normally looks like it's half decent this you know grumpsters over there rolling look we'd probably get away with that as a so-called seed bed but that's just been going round and round wish me luck Fenlanders. you can mock me all you like i don't care Grumpster will come along here and roll all of this now and just try and flatten it down. We'll see. I mean, there's seed everywhere. Look. It just won't go in the ground. Just will not go in the ground. But yeah, my soil at the minute is just like clay. Just like so wet inside, outside, underneath, on top. I ain't going to be out of drill Anna's hole over there. I'll have to leave that. I'm done with the drill now. The next thing to go on this tractor is the basilea. So, woohoo, basil! I'll get the drill, drill cleaned out. There's no seed in there for the little rodents to uh, scurry around in. Then I'll probably go and cook Grumpy Grandad's tea for him. He's doing a pretty good job. He even done some filming the other day while he was out rolling. Telling you all about how dusty it is, if you can believe it. So my cousin Martin ain't really got no dust flying behind him over there. Grumpy Grandad's nearly got a spot of dust flying behind him. My soil's just not like being compacted down with water. As you can see, good, not good, good, not good. That'll probably be nearly me finished for the day today, Finlanders. Hope you're all going buy yourself a hoodie. Really appreciate that, good quality clothing, like we do good quality produce for the British public. I'll get this cleaned out, go and get it dropped off up the other farm. I don't think hardly anything of my stuff sold at the auction, so anyone's interested in a Vernistat or a combi drill or whatever, hit me up. Manta whale, some row crops for John Deere's, you name it, we've probably got it. So if anyone's interested, just hit me a message up. Cheers, guys. Good morning, Fenlander. Different day, different dollar. Another day, another dollar. Yeah, that's the one. What a beautiful day, being. It's lovely and lush out here. Yeah? Um, I managed to go rolling all night last night till about seven o'clock time. Then uh, this crawled into my little den of desire and uh, passed out about eight o'clock. This is farmer was like, you okay? You all right? I was, I was pretty shot yesterday. Nice little nappy nap nap. And then I had the mistake of waking up this morning at five o'clock and then thinking it was too early to get up. So I went back to bed. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. So Anna is gonna try and follow me up the field with the Veridistat carrier, hopefully. And I'll set her a path of uh, righteousness. 
I'm going to be spraying in the field next order. So um, I'm just, uh, I'm still trying to put manganese, magnesium on. Hello, RST irrigation. Uh, just trying to put manganese and magnesium on really, just trying to keep the crops alive. I'm going to have my Niantic to do, which is just a, like a weed killer and wild oats and stuff like that, you know. Cookie's going to have a look at my drilling over hot world and see whether or not it's worth me just going over there and sprinkling a bit of Roundup on. And yeah, Anna's going to have a day on the carrier. Grumpy Granddad's going to have a day on the rolls, which will bore the hell out of him, but at least he'll do a good job. So. Um, yeah, it'll go when the sun comes out, innit? I spoke to David Waters yesterday and he's like, I'm three weeks or a month behind, you know? And, and everyone keeps bringing up with the same requests, but David's like, I can't, I can't be everywhere, you know? Just, um, it is a bit of a mission because David's three weeks or a month behind, you know? Stuff that he would have normally had ploughed, normally he would have had everything ploughed up virtually, all his ploughing jobs would have been done by now, but. Uh, they're, they're obviously uh, uh, well behind and then he's got he's got um, fertilizer spreading to be done and he's still got spring barley and stuff that near people want planting and stuff so I feel for David he's up against it I don't want to put any extra work on David because uh, I'm not really in that much of a rush but if I just plant the little seeds in his head that I'm gonna need a up spreaders back again for a couple of days He's sinking next week sometime, so. Good morning, guys. Hope you're really, really well. I don't know if you can see me very well. I am just in the 619 ER, just about to go to Lee Farm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I have the Vader said carrier behind me, and I am picking my pants. I mean, it's fine. She says with confidence. Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. Just got to go to Lee Farm to the front of the yard, but Daniel was just like, just be careful of the arms because if I turn too sharp, the baby said will obviously hit it, hit them. Whoever come up with the idea of calling me reasonable, no, I'm, I'm not down for that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Daniel was trying to find a nickname for me, and he was like, Grease Nipple. I was like, no, no. Uh, also, I'd just like to point out, he said that my painting was really dodgy on the muck grab that me and Dad were painting. I'd just like to point out that mine was a really neat painting. Dad was painting it before me and it was really like drippy everywhere. Daniel tried to blame me for that and that weren't me. Just like to point that out. I mean, you guys knew that anyway, didn't you? There's no way you would have seen something messy and gone, oh yeah, that was Anna. It was so dead. My spray is on one again this morning. I've just ordered some cool stuff from UTV, which is epic. So thanks Jack for that. And uh, let's just have some sat nav steering me down the field. Woo yeah, I just ordered some stuff from UTV. I'm going to order another set of lights for the spray. All right, I know, I know. Hey, Anna's managed to make it to the field, so. We'll uh, switch off here and then we'll go and see how um, see how Boss Monkey's getting on. We still haven't come up with a decent name for Annie yet. We still need to figure out a name. She needs a nickname. It's part of uh, ritual being a farmer, isn't it? So, what did somebody call their mate the other day? Kit Kat, because he's always on a break. I thought that was pretty funny. Well, let's get on and go and see how she get on. Let's show her what to do. Hopefully one day she'll figure this out for herself. Fingers crossed, Finlanders, fingers crossed. Yeah, I know this down. Like that. Which one? The first one, the green one. Right. You lower it down like so. Yeah. You can see on the back there, go to the back there. It's a the little latches just lifted up. Keep walking in. Walk in there, no, over here. Yeah, go in, go in. What are these latches? Yeah, they're lifted up. Look, what, what, what happens to them when I lift up there? Right, okay. You're going down again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to... You have to put it down so they lift up to be able to lift it down. Yeah, so they lift it up. Yeah. And just off the floor. Yeah. Now you can lift your arms up now. Lift. And, that, and that's the draft control one? Huh? Is that the draft control yeah. one? I mean, you just have to reverse up. So they're going to start unfolding. 
You have to reverse while you unfold it? Yeah. Then watch them. As soon as you get to somewhere near there, you just start... Do that one? Yeah. That is going to take a few attempts, isn't it? No. Righty. So you lift up, you lift up and down and on the blue one here. Right. So you're out of the ground now. Look, you see that little um, adjuster down there? Look what happens when I... Uh, look, see that? Okay. See the little cable ties? Okay, yeah. Right, so you want to be running about there somewhere. Just under the first cable tie, all right? When, what, all the time? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Yeah, did you see what your new nickname is? Boss Monkey. Yeah, Boss Monkey? <laughs> Well, is that because I am the boss? No, it's because you think you're the boss. <laughs> I actually do. I genuinely so do. you see where that little novel is? Look, when yeah, you lift yeah. up, that comes up and down. Somewhere in between them two cable ties, alright? Right, but then when I'm but when I'm turning, it needs to be above the first cable tie. Yeah, yeah, when you're turning, you just pull that back until it stops, alright? Hmm. Wish me luck, Ben Landers. Hmm. The baby's flown in there. Let's see how she gets on, what she breaks today. They're all working well. AgriLink done a real good job of them. So yeah, can't complain with them. She just needs to get on with it. So all she's trying to do, Fernandez, is just tickle the black grass around. That's all I want her to do. We will actually get it on some concrete maybe at the other farm there. It's easier to just unfold them on the field. They do a lot of scrubbing uh, when you unfold it and fold it up, I have noticed. It's warm today. So I am wearing the same, the same hoodie that I was wearing yesterday, but I'd just like to clarify, they didn't get very dirty yesterday. So, you know, I didn't really want to wash it if I don't have to. Yeah, the carrier's working really well. You see, it's actually quite dusty. Just trying to kind of just get used to another thing again. Like, you just get used to doing one thing and then they just throw you on something else, which is good. I like learning, so such a nice day. It is so nice. Can't really open the window though because it is so dusty out, believe it or not. So, how are you doing? I am looking for a, uh, actively looking for a sprayer, but I haven't found one yet. I have found a fast track. Woo! Yeah, found a fast track. That might be a little stop gap. Just to see if we like them, really. Uh, I've always wanted a fast track. These are proper comfortable, so, uh, I don't know. We shall see. We're finished over there. We are just heading down to Kinder's. Daniel has said, don't go across the gateway yet. Yeah, I had Uncle Terry watching me. That was quite funny. Daniel was like, can you stop and go say hi? I was like, actually, yeah, I, I didn't. I could have done that, actually. I could have gone and said hi. It was really funny him just sitting there, like, watching me. Almost like, just checking I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I guess he's, you know, he, doesn't, he used to do this all the time, and now he doesn't get to do it. So it must be quite heartbreaking in a way. This is genuinely such a happy place to be. Love being in the tractor. So, cheerful Craggy wanted me to come out here and uh, do a load of pre-em on the wheat that I drilled the other day. A bit late, but it'll uh, work a treat. If you can kind of catch it just as the wheat is chitted a little bit, but not up, you're about right, really. Uh, kind of doing the wrong thing a little bit, maybe, because um, we're talking some rain tonight, so putting your pre-em on just as it's about to rain it's probably not the wisest idea but i can't see there being too much rain so i can't see it being too much of a problem and if you if you remember we um we had loads of wild croissants on this field when uh when we had spuds on it so i'm just covering my bum covering my bum a little bit and uh doing a little bit i had some in the shed so we're just going to do a little bit of this. Uh, Anna's on her bird of stat, which she, she seems to be getting on okay. Um, my good friend Simon went and helped her get into the field because I was busy spraying and he needed my attention anyway. Um, so he's like, well, I'll go and help her. And, he, and then he was like, that's a weird thing to fold up and unfold, isn't it? I was like, yep. Very odd, very peculiar bit of kit, but well thought out, well designed. Vernestat, as always, uh, they do a good job. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's real weird how it folds up, but there you go. Right, let's 
checking I'm doing everything okay. Bless him. I only did this the other day, like two days ago. Uh, I don't know if the um, camera will pick it up, but we'll have a go. I've got to remember how to do this now. I've done it for a year. Uh, that one. No. That one. No. That one. There we go. System rinse. Rim cycle. Oh, boom rinse. Maximum rinse. There you go. So, what it does is rinse, uh, recirculating lines. So, fresh water out of my clean water tank, which is behind me there sucks that out and starts flushing the lines out then the venturi the rinse agitation rinse overflow relief all the all the systems on the sprayer it goes through and it rinses itself out so while it's doing that i'm going to go chase some crows around look at them all over there thinking they own the place Festy things we are nearly as well just to get ourselves a group together and all drill our wheat at the same time but guaranteed one person will have the short straw and they'll eat all their wheat so it's springtime there's not a lot of food around there's definitely not a lot of seeds around for them so there might be the old potato to eat everywhere but um that, yeah they're just they're after me wheat they're after me winter wheat We're just over at Kidna's now. I can't I can't remember if I updated you or not, but um Simon came over and helped me to fold the baby stud carrier up and we folded it up over there and then got across the track and then um and then unfolded it on the field. But it was the first time that he's done it as well, so it was kind of um you know a bit of a learning curve for us both um, I don't think I'm gonna have to do it I think Daniel's gonna come over and help me but I just wanted to show you guys this was where um, this is the same field that we had a bit of a stuck with the uh, when they came over muck cart in and this was that field do you remember there was like that that big puddle over there that uh, me and dad were trying to go through and I could only go like up to so far and then kind of stopped but it's kind of bumpy over here at the minute where where it's just been so wet and it's now starting to dry out you can see look at the difference in like the the soil colors but over there was absolutely fine but that was the bit that was fine before when i was like disking and stuff i can't remember did i come out here with a cultivator as well i might have done daniel phoned me earlier well about an hour ago so I just said to him, what's the plan? Have I got to try and fold this, uh, the carrier on my own? Which I'll try, I'll give it a whirl. Now I've sort of seen Daniel do it and then Simon do it as well. Um, but I said to him, just let me know because I want to have like loads of time to do it. So if I've got to do it, I don't mind, but as long as I've got plenty of time. But I think he's going to come over and swap with me, so. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we're just trying to get as much as we can done today. It's like full systems scale. Yeah, Daniel was like, uh, how is it? I was like, fine. He's like, you've been going, just doing your loops, like going up one, this one, going down, and then so you like kind of going back on yourself. I was like, yeah. He's like, all right, any issues? I was like, no, should there be? I feel like he was a bit shocked that I hadn't phoned him like a million times, being like, how do I do this? How do I do that? I am, I'm trying to just get on a bit a bit more. They're always at the end of the phone if I need them, but I'm, I'm just, I think I said it before, I'm just trying to figure things out on my own, so I'm not like, how do I do this? I'm just gonna write down what I've been doing today. I know I've got my sheet to fill in in a little while as well. So I think Anna's had a pretty good day. She's almost confident enough to fold the uh, Verdestat carrier up on her own. So what have I sprayed today? I have sprayed the three, four, uh, Lee, 13, the 27. Yeah, it's weird having a 13, field called the 13 acres, which is 27 acres. Odd, isn't it? Anybody else got stupid fields like that? What's the weirdest field name you've got? I've got one named after the pig that I have no longer got. Named after the moto GP rider that got killed, Marco Simoncelli, was it? 
So I've got a field called Chelly's, named after him, so I'll never forget him. So, Anna, no, I'm not gonna get a pop with Anna. I've got a lad coming to pick, uh, ugh, you look grubby. Pick the uh, beat drill up, so I've got to go and dig that out, which would be the lad. Oh, um, I can get uh, 170 dropped off the uh, cultivator and put back on the muck trailer because I'll need to do a load of muck. And then once I get my big trailer back, I'll start, I'll get the pig unit cleared out again. But first, we're going to see how Anna's getting on. I just come up here to get Anna on her. Good little, good little view that is. Working a tree. Doing exactly what I wanted to do, but Anna just very nearly got stuck then. She managed to uh, get through it, so uh, <laughs> I didn't have the camera out in time. Dust coming off her. Let's see how she gets on. Lovely sunny day. Pretty good. That's Anna's new tool then. She can do that all summer long. She can uh, be on that. You know, just gonna get her up here. As you can see, this is my uh, sugar beet field. It's gonna need a working down a little bit more than that to get any kind of seed bed out of it. So I've still got muck to put on here. See if she's going down. See if she gets stuck this time. <laughs> really any need to have a drone, is there? Working a tree. That's all I want that tool to do. Just race over stuff, plan it down. Race over stuff, plan it down. I'm being watched. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Just a couple of inches. Not even quite taking her wheelings out there, I don't think. And uh, yeah, another day done. I, I've still got a couple of things to alter on it, I do, I think. But I think it's working pretty good. So you don't need a weight block on the front with it. All right, she did nearly, she did nearly need a weight block on the front to get through that wet hole, but she didn't have it. So it seems to work better if you don't have a weight on it, on the front of the tractor. Awesome. And filming his life. Yeah, doing a good job. Just race over stuff. I wish I'd bought a nine meter one now. Now I know how well it is, easy it pulls and stuff, you know. Could have got away with a nine, three extra meters. But yeah, it's, um, it's just breaking all this rubbish and trash and stuff up that we got on the field. I mean, it looks like a failed crop of wheat, don't it? But it's not. And that'll conclude our today's video. So go get subscribing, guys. Really appreciate all of you. Uh, yeah, our little humble farming channel is doing really well, so can't thank you all enough. Cheers, guys.